Hi Pisces, what is up? What is up? How are you? And welcome to your end of January reading. How are you, my gorgeous fishy? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. There you are, slippery. Temperance, whoa. Could be dealing with a Sag, balancing out your energy. You guys, temperance and balance. Okay, making a decision on the situation. And that's what's gonna balance you out. Go oh, I didn't, I thought I saw it, but yeah, two of cups here. Still my connection. Okay, okay, we are getting ahead of ourselves, Pisces. <laughs> okay. Um, this is for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but do I watch my Saturn? That's a hard yes, you guys. Do I watch my Mars? Yes, indeed. Oh. So please, please, please do not get attached to just your sun sign. You guys, we have so many signs in our Vedic charts. And yeah, if you're just following your sun, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, oh yeah, I do. Probably stop. <laughs> Kidding. Whatever. Listen, free will, right? Um, what else? Oh yeah, don't get attached to dates if it's not in January 2021 and you clicked on this reading. You were guided by your angels and spirit guides because there's a message here for you. So sit back, enjoy. If it doesn't resonate, throw it out. If it does, I'm so glad. All right, Pisces, let's see what we need. We, as a collective, obviously. All right, let's go. Ace of Pentacles, you got a gift. You got a, oh, who's delivering it? The universe, gorgeous, gorgeous. Guys, what happens when we put in the work on ourselves? The universe will reward you. I mean, only if you're acting out of heart space, right? But there, uh, there it is, Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> and you know, you know, you could be like, oh yeah, this is a gift from the universe. But who created it? You are, you guys. The creator has been the theme of this week, actually. Being the creator of your own reality. Oh, Virgo energy here. Wait, that's your self house. So, uh, yeah, chant, if you got to channel that Virgo energy to start creating, start manifesting, start uh, start working on yourself, gorgeous. And, well, I just said the universe is seeing you doing it, putting in the work. This is amazing. Amazing. You guys, no hard work um, goes unrewarded, if you will. I am dead. I am, you guys, D E A D, dead. <laughs> Another Virgo card, Eight of Pentacles, you guys, working away on yourself, on your environment. Because what happened, guys, what happened, you know this, when you work on yourself, your environment changes. Once you change your personality, your thoughts, your emotions, everything around you changes, gorgeous. <laughs> Emperor, hello. Yellow, two of wands, gorgeous. Whew. Okay, the I'm not even worried. Could have a Capricorn. Could uh, have a Capricorn coming in. Nine of Wands. Okay. The Hangman. There you are. Pisces. Ten of Wands. Dropping it. Okay. Ten of Cups. Gorgeous energy. You guys, this is beautiful. Let's see your overall energy. Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck is Nine of Pentacles, you guys. What happens? You, um... First of all, for, uh, first and uh, foremost, a lot of Virgo, a lot of, um, not even Virgo, a lot of uh, grounded, a lot of beautiful grounded energy here. Um, four of Swords, you're taking a time out. What are you doing though? You're not just uh, laying around here, because you know Pisces, I know you, <laughs> we, I have Pisces and Mars, we love to meditate, we love to um, go up and you know be in our oasis. But not this time, huh? Not this time. This time you're taking this uh, time out to uh, work on your 3D world. You're manifesting. Everything we got here is freaking pentacle related. You're working on your um, independence. You're working on your environment. Because you know when you work on yourself, you know this, Pisces. The universe, the universe what comes in? with a solid offer new job opportunity here new um home opportunity maybe you're moving but it's tangible it's 3d it's what you've been working on right because you guys what's the magician 
The magician is a masculine energy. It's an energy, um, cause you know, the high priestess and the magician, um, similar, but different high priestess. She, she knows everything. She's the wisest. It's your intuition, right? She doesn't have to speak. She knows what she knows. She doesn't have to show it off, right? Magician, on the other hand, he's a masculine energy. He has all these tools and look how he's presenting it to the world, right? So right now you're building yourself up. You get your beautiful garden that you're walking through. You're admiring your fruit. This, like, she's a, she's holding grapes here. My grandfather had a grape uh, farm. It wasn't a vineyard. I can't call that a vineyard. But he had grape vines. He grew his grapes, made wine. This doesn't happen overnight. This is dedication. This is, you guys, this is putting in the hours. And what's hours, you guys? Hours is energy. And anything, when you produce energy right when you start playing around with energy magician what does he do he uses these tools to build and that's what you got here you got your independence you're at nine of pentacles um and this is what's gonna get you to your ten of cups but you guys um let's clarify because right now you're you're in defense mode you're defending your garden <laughs> that wasn't a metaphor but uh Look, you got nine of, pen uh, nine of pentacles. Wow. Nine of pentacles and nine of wands, actually. So you build it. Now you're in defense mode. Let's see what the devil energy is, though. Let's see what, um, what's this toxic devil, please, for my Pisces. End of January, please, for my Pisces. Thank you. Ten of swords. Okay. Okay, you guys. Um, let's do a little math. Here's ten of wands, and here's ten of swords. That's a lot of stuff ending. A lot of stuff. Uh, stuff that you need to drop and um, let go of thoughts and energy. You're. This is weighing you down. This is um. This is keeping you in a low vibrational stance right now. And what happens? What happens when you are, um, when you haven't, what happens when you're not ready to release something? You start overthinking. You start overthinking and it's what? What happens? It keeps you stagnant. You got, uh, you, there you are. Pisces, your card, the hangman. He's hanging there, right? And he can only see from the angle that he's hanging. But what happens when you're um, when you're cut loose? You stand up and you see it from a different perspective, right? Once you see it from a different perspective, then you can go, well, I don't know. That's a lot of wands. That's a lot of. Do I need it all? Thoughts. That's a lot of thoughts. Do I need these? these? This is not only painful. He's dead, by the way. This is painful, and. Uh, I'm tired. Look, he's sitting down. He's literally leaning on that wand. You guys, something is keeping you. Oh, it's not. Even, it's thank you, draining you, draining your energy, and you need this energy to rebuild. Pisces, don't mess around. You need. Thank you. Pick and choose wisely where you put your energy, because as much as um, as you like to think it's all going towards your future, the now. A lot of it is being used up by other activities, whatever. I mean, apply that if you, as you will. Yes, we got wish. For, uh, we got the star wish fulfillment on the bottom of the deck. You're going towards that star. You're building, but you gotta, you gotta go within. You got four swords here. There's something you're not seeing. A lot of energy is being um, used up in not good areas of your life. You gotta take. Take a step back. Take a step back. Honestly, I guess a lot of you need to do that. And look at a broader, broader view. And put down, put down the defense mechanism for a second there, right? Let's clarify this emperor, please. For my Pisces. Could be dealing with an Aries. You guys, okay. We got King of Pentacles and the world here. Uh, clarifying the Emperor. 
new beginnings, you guys. The world. The world is what the world is only here to uh clarify things you need to drop. The world is here saying you can't. Once again, Pisces Pisces. Once you level up, once you um uh, once your conscious expands, you perceive your old beliefs, old ideas, whatever you're carrying as a burden, right? You start to realize, wow, these things, they no longer serve me. And what does that mean? That means they no longer energetically align with where you're going, where you want to be, what you want to feel. Because remember, you guys, like I always say, we create our own emotions and we create our own thoughts, right? So for you to step into this emperor, what's an emperor? Emperor is literally like four kings. For you to step into this authoritative, respected, knowledgeable figure, right? You have got to. You have got to enter this realm with completely new ideas about yourself, about the world. You need to do like a 360, whatever it is. Because look, this is where you're going. Look at the pentacles you're building. You're literally pentacle by pentacle. Pen this is this is insanity. This is gorgeous energy. Let me clarify two of wands. There's a decision you need to make. <laughs> For the two of wands clarified by four of wands. This is something solid. This is once again, you were working on building a home, a happy life, which is here. It's gonna happen. But what? here's a tip, here's a tip. How do you build this energetically if you're still tied up to the past, right? You you can't. The, I mean, a solemn, you know, a sound is that sound, you can't. Until you realize the emotions you're feeling, because you guys, we got five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You, you, are keeping yourself stagnant, stuck, whatever it is. You have to, here, here's the thing you can all practice in meditation or if daily, like right now in this moment, you can start after watching this video or even during this video, imagine, visualize what this looks to you. What What is this 10 of cups to you? What is the ultimate fulfillment? What is the ultimate happiness, joy, right? Because when, when you think of love, what what is that feeling you need you okay you need to rehearse your feelings you need to rehearse the feelings that you want in the future and by rehearsing the feelings right now your body will get um will um well basically your dna will change your body will get accustomed yes to these new emotions this constant happiness this constant wholeness of it's already here you have to not trick the body but if the emotions exist that means it, it's already there right maybe not in the 3d world yet but what you have to do is daily and i mean daily rehearse the feeling that this is already here this is already in your world and then your body becomes so accustomed it does it's no longer subconscious it's already conscious and then you'll be on autopilot and that's when you attract that's how the universe works that's when you attract everything towards you the ten of cups the love that you want the happiness the the pentacles the coins right you have to start living in the reality that you want and you have to think that it's already happening that's, this is already your reality, right? So if you start living as a whole, like love energy, then the universe won't know the difference and, and that's when everything will come together to match your vibrations. So rehearse, rehearse beautiful, gorgeous emotions because if you don't, the universe won't know what to send you, right? You can't wait. You're like, oh yeah, I want love. But what does that feel? You have to tell the universe how you want to feel. You have to already feel it for it to come into universe, right? And if you stay here, guess what? In this sad, unworthy energy, guess what? The universe will send you more of this. 
you guys it's hard work it's hard work but the magician is here the magi you are capable of anything you have all the tools and know that the universe is right here it's watching it's waiting do it do it <laughs> just do it will be the title for pisces so thank you so much pisces i hope this resonated i hope um yeah i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much leave a like leave a comment please subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell we have fun here but most importantly we elevate and we expand our consciousness thank you so much pisces and cross watchers namaste